May I now request Sheikh Yasser Qadi to come and talk about individual responsibility. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. First and foremost, it gives me great pleasure to be in India again. I was here along with Dr. Mamdouh uh, recently, and Dr. Mamdouh stole my line exactly when he said that India was so great and so hospitable, and I found the people so generous and so eager for knowledge that even though initially I thought I could not squeeze in another trip in such a short time, yet I found the first trip to be so beautiful and so enjoyable that I am now here again just a few weeks later standing in this country once again. And Alhamdulillah, it gives me great pleasure not just to be here, but also to be the only foreign speaker who is not foreign. Because originally, I too am from this country. And I only have a short time here and I have a talk after this. I don't want to elongate this speech. But I wanted to point out something that many of us, many of us, I think, don't realize. You see, we take on our shoulders responsibilities that our shoulders are not capable of bearing. And when we have done this and we cannot fulfill those responsibilities, then we are afflicted with pessimism and grief and despair. We look at the news and what is happening in various parts of the world. We see some humiliation. We see some torture. We see some incidents in the media that portray our religion in a negative light. And we think, what can I do to better the situation? How can I solve the Palestinian crisis, for example? Or how can I bring peace back to this ummah? And so we have set this goal, this impossible goal for an individual. And when we cannot reach that goal, what happens? We think, what can I do? There's no point. It's hopeless. How can I possibly bring peace to this ummah? You see, the problem is that we set the goal to be too unrealistic in the first place. Our responsibilities, Allah says in the Quran, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. No human being is given a burden more than what it can bear. Allah has only made you responsible for that which you can do. And so, my brothers and sisters, rather than thinking internationally and globally, rather we should think locally and nationally. Look around you. See what you can do in your neighborhood, in your village, in your city, in your locality, in your masjid, in your workplace, in your family, amongst your relatives. Brothers and sisters, when you start thinking in a more realistic manner, and you see the goals being accomplished, this will give you optimism. This will make you more proactive. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requires you to do. Do not look at the grand picture and think you can change it. Many of you, when I have come today, many of you have coming running up to me thinking, Oh, you are here. We are so happy you are here. Shaykh this, Shaykh that. Wallahi, my dear brothers and sisters, I am not the Muslim activist just because I'm standing on stage. I am not the one doing a change. The real Muslim activists are those who are working behind the stage, those who have built the stage, those who have put up these chairs for you, those who are guiding the traffic outside, those who have spent months and years planning for this conference, spending their money and their time, taking away from their lives in order to bring this to you. We are coming and being in the limelight, no doubt. But that is not the real work. The real work is done behind the scenes, behind the stage. And that is something each and every one of you can contribute in. Oh, volunteers who have volunteered their time and efforts, let me tell you, do not trivialize your own role. This conference, after the blessings of Allah, is due entirely to you. We have just come at the end and walk on the stage and give a lecture and go. You are the ones who have set this up. The people of Chennai and the people of India have come together and brought this forward. It was the vision of one man, one man sitting here on stage. He thought he wants to bring a group of scholars to Chennai. And look, look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed that vision, that dedication, that determination. Years and years of conferences are now happening. Hundreds and thousands of people have attended. He didn't sit and think, what can I do? What can I do? He acted. 
He acted upon a realistic vision and Allah Azza wa Jal blessed him. Today he told me of another blessing, which I don't want to share on stage with you, but he told me today somebody came and did a lot of work for him, unannounced. And Allah says in the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا Those who strive in our path, those who work for our cause, we will guide them to our ways. We will make things easy for them. We will bless them with the path. When you stand up, when you have a vision, when you want to be active, Allah will bless you with the path. Allah will bless you with the means. Allah will bless you with the provision. But you must act. You must stand up and say, what can I do? Where is my role? What is my benefit? Brothers and sisters, do not trivialize the benefit you can do to the ummah. Let me conclude this talk and I have another one later on today. Let me conclude this talk by giving you a parable, giving you an analogy. Suppose all of us are just sitting in a large auditorium and all of a sudden the lights go out. Most of us will just sit there and think, let us wait for the electricity to come on again. What can I do? It's too big of a hall. What can I possibly do? Everything is dark. I cannot do anything. Just sit there and wait. But one person will have a vision. He will light a match. What will that match do in the hall? Nothing. But it will spark an idea. It will set the dominoes rolling. Another person sees that match, he takes out a lighter and takes that a light. A third person lights a candle and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth until a hundred people in the hall, all of them have lit small candles, small lights, yet put together, the hall is shining and bright once again. This is the point, brothers and sisters. Maybe you cannot get the electricity back in the room, but you can bring light back through other channels, through other means. Look what you can do. See where you have a role and then stand up. Put your trust in Allah and go forward and do something. May Allah Azza wa Jal bless all of us to understand this simple reality. Bless us all in this world and the hereafter. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.